Kalim Perak Kaftet Mishnah Aleph. First Mishnah in the 29th, penultimate chapter of Masachet Kalim. Moving along. Okay, we're talking about Numin. Numin are, Numin are Nimin. There's threads, strings, Yotzim in Asadin, they, they, that they emerge. Hen Chutim, these are strings, Shurigidim, let's say, Min Harig, that come off of, that are, that are hanging from a woven item. Bemi Nasadadim, Bemi Lamala, Bemi Lamata. So when they would weave things, so they would have strings. It wouldn't be perfect like our garments. They would have just things hanging out. I think it's like, like interesting to think about in the time in which we live, in our time, everything is perfect. You know, I buy a towel, even a simple dish towel. It's perfectly sewn, perfectly woven. Everything is 100%. You know, and it wasn't that when I buy food, everything is 100%. But when it wasn't that way, way back when, if I, if I wanted to drink something, it had sediment in it and I had to... I had to filter it out. If I wanted wine, the wine had sediment, and you had a you had a sardine that you used to filter your wine. That was just the way of life. So also these all these textiles that they had, the textile itself was makabel tuma. But what about the strings? How far off? How 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 much of the hanging off string? What measurement of the string is still considered a chibur connecting to the actual beget itself? So that's what the bishop is talking about. No has sardine. If it's a sardine, a sheet, sudarim, a kerchief. The hatartin, okay, a tartin, the pilion We're going to look at each one of those. That's shesh etzbaot. So if the string is six etzbaot, like four, these are four, five, six etzbaot, a little more than a tefach, right? Six etzbaot wide. That's a chibur. If it touch, so if you if you touch the beged, and the beged is mekabel tuma, then that neem, the neem is is the, you know the string itself. You know, tzitz, but you get the point. If if I if the string itself is this long. So up to here is Mechabal Tuma, beyond here is not. I guess you'd have to figure out where exactly did it touch. It becomes complicated. Okay, so what are Tartin and Pilyon Sharosh? Tartin are like a hat. Pilyon, Tadin, Shimita Tepo Kulo. It's this kind of, you, you wrap your head in it, I guess. Shell Afar, afar Kisin. If the, the, so up to six, Etzba Oda Tame, and more than if it's not. Afar Kisin, the Kahad, the Bartunura says. Okay, it's Levush Tachton. And let's look at the Bartunura. Okay, levush tachton upatuach miktefab. It's an undergarment that's open in your shoulders. Ukshalov shel kotra. You tie it. This is what Raposin. This is how he draws that uh, particular particular piece of clothing. Uh, so if the the I guess they you know they in that in their time so the undergarment they they didn't care they wouldn't they were probably less meticulous they had longer strings. Nime the strings of sagos v'haridid v'hachaluk v'hatalit. Shalosh etzbo. That's three etzbo. Let's what each one of these are. Okay. Sagos bega shel tzamer av v'kulot tzitziot. It's like a, it's a it's a wool garment that the whole thing is strings. Okay. And they call it in Arabic. In Arabic albornos. I don't know. Redid is the tzeiv dak she isha mechasab rosha. It's like a kerchief. Gomadim are beged ama alama. Okay. It's one by one and it's ama by ama. And the Arabs use it to cover their chotem, to cover their nostrils when it's cold, like a scarf. So here we have the sagos, we have the okay the 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 chitalit, okay the tzeif, and we don't have that the gomdim shel aravim. I think that's what the one he was talking about. Covers his nostrils. Okay, uh, the mission continues. Nime uh, that we had talit and chaluk. We had a cloak also. Those are three etzbaot. Nime kipa shel zekena. Okay, the strings of or the you know the the strands of the kipa, the covering. Uh, the hair covering, the hat covering of an elder woman. Va gumadim shel arabim. Gumadim, he says, uh, is what they put on, like they put on themselves when they're cold. Did we learn that before? The gumadim. I don't know if we. Had, yeah, we had that. Va uh, kul kilin. Kul kilin, he says, is a woven thing that has arig shel sayar. It's made of hair. Hapunda, the, the, the bartunera says. Kunda, it doesn't really say what it is. Ah. He says it's a zor chalul ubokis. It has like a, it's like a belt that has a, that has a pocket in it. And some say it's, a, you know, some say it's a, an undergarment. Bartunura says either it's a, a zor chalul, yeshem uh, a zor chalul, and some say it's beged tachton. It's like an undergarment, like underwear. Okay, uh, that's a punda ma'aforet. Ma'aforet is a sudar. The kati says it's a kerchief that you wrap your head around. That pargod pargod is a is a is a is a curtain. Nimehem koshem. So those, the nimim, are any amount, because I guess they would shave those down. Those they wanted perfect. Again, your undergarments, you don't want people, you don't want extra strings, or even on your belt. Gomadim shel aravim. Punda. It's another kind of like money belt. 
Ma'afara, the head wrap, pargod. The word pargod, actually, you talk about ma'achariya pargod, behind the curtain, like that, they, that, that their secrets are told. Even that's a reference to, like, you know, up in Shamayim. Anyhow, all of those things, the nimein are called shames. This is interesting how long, like in the first list, it's six etzbaot, the second it's ten etzbaot, some it's three, and like they really knew what was acceptable to be considered part of a begid, what, what the length was, and what beyond which was not considered part of the begid at all. Stop here, dedicate our learning. Remember me, my father. Harab, Simcha, Ben Yitzchak, Kalman. Make it a great day.